Matthew 10 verse 34 think not that I am come to send peace on earth I came not to send peace but a sword Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone where I learned this truth from peace and salutations to their brothers on down teaching, preaching, pushing this gospel. Good news to the four corners of the earth, waking up the hopeful elect of the house of Israel. Greetings also to the few elect ladies and sisters tuning into these video epistles. Hope you're edified, built up by the power of truth that's coming out of this book. It's our book, the holy book for the holy people calling a lesson. The world will not know peace. Everyone's searching. They're looking for answers. There ain't gonna be any answers until our power, Yahweh, sends back his only begotten son, whose name is Yahweh Shai. It means salvation. But who is he coming to save? He's coming to save his people. Calling us Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, a host of other names. But none of that matters anymore. We know who we are now. Hope the fan is not too bad uh, messing up the sound here but it's so hot here up in the hills wickedness is at an all-time high we're gonna go through a couple of these scriptures if we can in the first one was a uh, Isaiah uh, 57 Isaiah 57 and uh, 20 and 21 I think but the wicked I like the troubled sea. Who's the wicked? It's Esau Edom. He says, since 1681, I want you to call me white. So it's not me calling. There's no name calling going on here. In the Bible, there are 18 nations. And this man, he's Esau Edom, the Edomites in the book. Also referred to Malachi 1 and 4 as the wicked. That's who he is. And we're not going to stop saying it. Doesn't matter how angry you get, but the wicked are like the troubled sea when it cannot rest, whose waters cast up mire, mud, and dirt. There is no peace, said my power to the wicked. No peace. And there ain't gonna be any. Isaiah 59 6. Their web shall not become garments neither shall they cover themselves with their works. They who is Esau Edom and all the nations who have gathered themselves unto them alongside a, whole, a bunch of our folk, Hebrew Israelites who can't wait, they want their consolation now. Their web shall not become garments, neither shall they cover themselves with their works. Their works are works of iniquity, that's multiple sins and the act of violence is in their hand. That's all this man knows one act of violence after the other one after the other their feet run to evil and they make haste to shed innocent blood of the hebrew israelites that's their favorite their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity wasting and destruction are in their paths the way of peace they know not and they're not interested there is no judgment in their goings they have made them crooked paths Whosoever, whoso goeth therein, shall not know peace. That's where we got the text from this lesson. There's not going to be any peace. They're getting ready. I think it's uh, what's that first. I think it's first, second Thessalonians five and three. They're getting ready. They're going to take us right to the edge of a war. And suddenly, with all the civil unrest and all the madness that they've planned, I'm going to say, oh peace and safety and just when they say that sudden destruction is going to come on them let's get some more here job 15 job 15 let's get a few of these let's go from 20 the wicked man travaileth with pain all his days and the number of years is hidden to the oppressor that's who he is. He's oppressing the whole world. He's a wicked, but especially his main target, the Hebrew Israelites. He knows who we are. Even if we don't, he knows. A dreadful sound is in his ears. In prosperity, the destroyer shall come upon him. Who's that? He believeth not that he shall return out of darkness. And he's waited for of the sword. He wandereth abroad for bread, saying, Where is it? He knoweth that the day of darkness is ready at his hand. He knows what's coming. Judgment is close. 
trouble and anguish shall make him afraid. They shall prevail against him as a king ready to the battle. For he stretcheth out his hand against Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai, and strengtheneth himself against the Almighty with his so called AI, artificial intelligence. Everything about this man is artificial. He's against the Heavenly Father. Let's get something here in Jeremiah. Let's keep it moving here. Jeremiah, we're going to get uh, 29. Yes, Jeremiah 29. Well, let's get Jeremiah 12 first as we're, we're here. Jeremiah 12 first. Let's get that one. Let's get this single verse here, verse 12. The spoilers are come upon all high places through the wilderness for the sword of the Lord shall devour from the one end of the land even to the other end of the land no flesh shall have peace what's this speaking about see these things are there for our learning was that uh, Romans 15 and 4 it might have happened in a different time frame but we can apply it now this man is getting ready to wreak havoc on the earth and his nuclear weapons Isaiah 54 and 16 have given you the sleep. There's all these nuclear scientists and engineers. And what have they created? Weapons of mass destruction. What for? For judgment. He's getting ready to destroy himself. Ultimately, these are the weapons of our power. Yahweh. Bashem Yahweh Shai. Now let's get to Jeremiah 29. Let's go from 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. And I will be found of you, saith the Lord. It's all caps, meaning Yahweh. And I will turn away your captivity. And I will gather you from all the nations. And from all the places whither I have driven you. Said the Lord. And I will bring you again into the place. Whence I cause you to be carried away. Captive. Back home to the motherland. It's not Africa. No. That's the land of the Hamites. We're not Hamites. This is Israel. And it's Galatians 4 and Maybe 16 that says this is the mother of us all. That's our homeland. Let's get to Isaiah. Well, it's close to Ezekiel. Let's get that one. There's one in Ezekiel here. Let's get it. 23. Ezekiel 7 and 23. Make a chain for the land is full of bloody crimes. And the city is full of violence. Wherefore... I will bring the worst of the heathen. Who's the worst of the heathen? It's Esau Edom calling himself. I want you to call me white. It's this, this leprous man. He's put himself up as our God. is painted over all the images during the Renaissance, 13th, 14th century. He said, I'm your God. I want you to worship me. Your God looks like me. Long, dog-like, stringy hair. A pointy nose. Thin lips. Pale flesh. There's no melanin in his skin. Yes, we know the nations can look like that we're talking about the edomite with the wicked spirit inside of him make a chain for the land is full of bloody crimes and the city is full of violence wherefore i will bring the west of the heathen east or edom and they shall possess their houses i will also make the pump of the strong to cease and their holy places shall be defiled destruction cometh and they shall seek peace and there shall be none no peace that's not what this is about we're not just that uh, is that equals yes they speak about time for this time for that well no it's a time of hate and a time of war vengeance is in the nostrils of our power and he's coming back he's coming back isaiah 9 let's go from 6 for unto us a child is born unto us a son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulder and his name shall be called wonderful counselor the mighty power the everlasting father the prince of peace of the increase of his government and peace 
there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this verse 8 the Lord sent a word unto Jacob that's who he sent to and it had lighted it had come to be known upon Israel that's the 12 tribes that's who we are I'm not gonna share my glory with another that's what the word says let's get John 14 27 peace this is red letter peace I leave with you my peace I give unto you not as the world giveth give I unto you let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid ain't gonna be no peace in this world with this Edomite rulership the Roman Empire the second leg of it no peace the only peace will come when this new government the new kingdom is set up on the earth and we become joint heirs with Yahweh Shai as he promised he can't lie we're looking forward John 16 and 33 these things have I spoken unto you that in me ye might have peace in the world ye shall have tribulation that's trouble but be of good cheer I says Yahweh Shai have overcome the world the world of wickedness under the dominion of this wicked man Esau Edom can't wait can't wait to see the back of this man Luke 12 49 I am come to send fire on the earth and what will I if it be already kindled but I have a baptism to be baptized with and how am I straightened till it be accomplished Yahweh I himself can't wait to get the green light suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth I tell you nay no but rather division and it goes on to give a list of all the different types of division within families and everywhere we're looking forward to the peace that will come from the establishment of righteous rulership in the earth you've been listening to the world will not know peace so on until the next lesson